Theory U offers a set of principles and practices for letting go of the past and collectively creating an emerging future. It is a method for both individuals and organizations that attempts to sense and bring into the present one's highest future potential. Theory U takes people through the transformational change needed to develop systems leadership. It is a method that takes people that want to engage in a transformation from ecosystem to ecosystem, a view that is more embedded in a whole system perspective. The author of the Theory U concept expresses it as a process or journey, which is also described as presencing, which is a combination of sensing and presence. It is a method that involves a number of concrete steps along the U diagram. We move down one side of the U as we attempt to connect with a world that is outside of our existing paradigm, to the bottom of the U, where we connect with the world that emerges from within, and up the other side of the U, where we attempt to bring forth the new into the world. Thus, it can be seen as a transformative journey of letting go of the past, opening up, and creating the future. The left-hand side of the U diagram is about letting go of the old way of operating and opening up. In their book, Leading from the Emerging Future, Otto Scharmer and Katrin Koffer describe three openings needed to transform systems. Open mind, removing your old habits and looking afresh. Open heart means developing the capacity to look at a problem not just from your angle, but from that of the stakeholders. Open will, the capacity to let go and let something new emerge. These three openings match commonly seen blind spots of many change efforts. At the bottom of the U lies an inner gate that requires us to drop everything that isn't essential. This process of letting go of our old ego and self and letting come our highest future possibility. The essence of presencing is that these two selves, our current self and our best future self, meet at the bottom of the U and begin to listen and resonate with each other. Once a group crosses this threshold, nothing remains the same. Individual members and the group as a whole begin to operate with a heightened level of energy and a sense of future possibility. They often then start to function as an intentional vehicle for an emerging future. The right-hand side of the diagram has also three stages. Starting with letting come, people start to explore the values and guidelines they desire for the future. Enacting is a stage for the crystallization of vision and intent. What do the new values and guidelines mean for the new functions and roles? How should the organization of the future be visioned? Embodying is about prototyping the new by linking head, heart, and hand. How can processes be developed in the future? What phenomena and facts will characterize the organization of the future? The outcome of this process should be that we can now perform by operating from the whole with a renewed and more complete sense of connection to ourselves and why we are doing what we are doing. At the end of the day, Theory U is trying to tap into the deeper sources of excellence and thus grow our leadership capacities. This has to do with the inner space that we operate from. It is a method that takes us through a process to improve our quality of attention and intention.